My name is David Bailey. I'm a marine biologist at the University of Glasgow. I've been working on deep sea fish and fisheries issues for about the last 15 years. We've been looking really specifically at the uh, issues of deep sea fishing regulation, in particular whether or not a ban on um, deep sea fishing below a certain depth would make sense. So what we've done recently is we, we looked at trawl, uh, scientific trawl hauls um, off the west coast of Scotland and off Ireland and we looked at the, um, the composition that catches to see whether we'll see how the composition of catches change as you go deeper. What we found is that as you go um, progressively deeper the, uh, the biodiversity goes up so you're really getting into an environment where you're fishing in, with more and more um, species present and therefore more and more species that aren't of commercial value and are just killed as bycatch. So the, the proportion of bycatch goes up as you go deeper and the proportion of shark and ray uh, bycatch goes up as well and they're particularly vulnerable to overfishing being particularly long lived and uh, late to mature. Uh, we also found that the commercial value of, of hauls based on market prices goes down as you, as you go deeper. These changes were particularly strong between 600 and 800 metres. It really makes sense to stop trawling shallower than 600 metres. Uh, if, if people deep fish deeper than this then they're really getting into this area where, where um, uh, biodiversity is really high and getting into an environment where uh, fishing is causing a very great deal of bycatch okay? at the same time for, for less and less commercial value. On this basis we really would support um, a ban on trawling at depths deeper than 600 metres. Any conservation measures that we can bring in for the deep sea have potentially enormous benefits. This, the, the trawl ban at 600 metres takes literally dozens of species of fish alone, let alone the effects on, or it just takes those, all those species out of the effects of trawling forever, plus the effects on carbon sequestration, the uh, avoidance of the damage to, to cold water corals and other uh, sea, seabed habitats. So the potential conservation gains for a relatively small amount of um, economic damage is out of all proportion to anything that could be achieved in the shallow water environment or on land. And I, and I really hope people are going to take the, the great opportunity that the uh, EU negotiations provide in order to do something really positive and, um, uh, and let's protect the, the deep water environment. <laughs>